and welcome to the podcast. I'm Marisa. I'm Ariana. And we're the Crowmeister Sisters. As a reminder, this podcast is rated T for Teen for strong language and rich. Mature themes. I tried to say something else. No clue what it was. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, if you I want- think I was going to say crunchy themes. <laughs> and crunchy themes. No, I stopped being crunchy. Um... If you want a podcast that's not like that, then get out of here and go to Her's Podcast Unlocked, where they talk to people about things. And stuff. I did not look up. um, Nor did I. (laughs) What they did last. So I don't care. However, you know what I do care about? Hmm. This this review from Apple Podcasts (gasps) that was put up back in September that um, we missed. Because I don't check it enough. Yeah, well. And I don't get any emails when people leave reviews. That's so. not great. <laughs> so from Laura J. Hansen. Got five stars. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you, Laura. She says, yay, my sister and I are obsessed with the Nancy Drew games. We own every single one. I love hearing other people who love it too. Which, as Ariana pointed out, <laughs> all of our reviews sound like we left them ourselves. They do. <laughs> I, this is, this sounds like how my sister and I talk. This is like I, my sister and I do. It's like, hmm, I think the Krollmeister sisters are going undercover. <laughs> Posting yep. their own reviews. I feel like if we were reviewing our own podcast, we wouldn't be so nice. These pieces of human garbage. Exactly. On this week's episode. <laughs> that reminds me, sister. What are we talking about today? Um... <laughs> today we're it's a crossover episode what <laughs> what is this what is this a crossover episode <laughs> sailor moon and nancy drew what is this a crossover episode <laughs> uh so yes uh on our patreon melted joan cusack asked us to talk about the clue crew as sailor moon so we've taken mm-hmm. that very vaguely and <laughs> uh we first thing we're gonna have to do is explain a couple things about sailor moon <laughs> but um we have come up with who everyone is in uh sailor moon however the thing about sailor moon the thing you gotta know about sailor moon <laughs> is that there are four very different versions of it <laughs> with very different like feelings So, you have the original, the manga, Mm -hmm. Sailor Moon. Then you have the 90s anime, Sailor Moon. Then you have the Sailor Moon Crystal, which was the Sailor Moon (laughs) anime that came out in 2014. Mm -hmm. Um, And then you also have PGSM, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon, which is the live action. This is not counting the Sailor Muse, which are the musicals. Uh, We're not including them at all because I have not seen enough of them (laughs) to count that. But those are our four major, like... Your four major uh, uh, Sailor Moon categories. Exactly. Uh, (laughs) So we went through and we talked. I think we should save Nancy for last, maybe. I don't know. Because the thing is, is that we came up with a good amount of just like direct parallels between Clue Crew people and uh, Sailor Moon people. Mm-hmm. But some of them defied us. And by say some of them, I mean one. And that's Nancy herself. Yeah. So, because the thing is, it would have been really, really useful, <laughs> right? If Nancy had the direct correspondent of Usagi, right? That would Our be Sailor really, Moon. yeah, just easy. Serena, if you've only seen the dub of the 90s, <laughs> that was a bad, bad... Please, if the dub of, in the 90s is the only one you have seen... Find another please one. Please watch something else. <laughs> Find like, anything else that'll... Just, you know... There are good iterations of, of this there are, series. I mean, <laughs> even just watch it, the sub. Mm-hmm. Just watch the sub. Would be fine. Yeah. Or listen to the, which I forgot, there's a redub of the 90s anime that happened in either 2013 or 2014. Yeah. Um, and that's okay. But the 90s four kids dub? Mm, not four kids. Um, who was it? it? Basically for kids, but I don't think it was actually them. I think it was um, <laughs> DIC or something. Mm. I don't remember. 
I don't remember. Um, but they did it and it's just awful because they, one, tried to naturalize things too much, um, or localize, whatever. Yeah. Words happen. <laughs> and they tried to, you know, cut out any of the, um, anything. Homosexuality. Really? Yeah, well. Or anything therein. So, <laughs> let's let's start. Now that I'm done rambling about Sailor Moon. Because, as we have said before, we could just have a Sailor Moon podcast. We could. Um, I, I honestly am all for any, any additional podcast we might have. Because we can easily just have a theme name. So, it's like, you know... Yeah. Sailor Sisters. The- <laughs> yes. Oh my god. If that's not already taken. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So maybe we do start with Nancy. Okay. Um. So Nancy defies cater- ca- ca- categorization. There's the word. Um. <laughs> quite a bit, in my opinion. She's definitely not an Usagi. She is not. She she doesn't have the emotional range to be Usagi. <laughs> Just even in the books, Nancy, she's not, you know, she's while pretty, it would be so yeah. easy to just kind of be like, yes, perfect, direct comparison. <laughs> she's really not. She's... And then the thing is, is you look at all the other sailor soldiers, she's not, she's not really any of those either. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. Um, so then you've like try and think about what other iterations that maybe she could fit into. And I've landed on PGSM, so the live action version of Mamadou. <laughs> you know, tuxedo mask. That's who Nancy Drew is. Uh, genre savvy. Yeah. <laughs> um, the only person in the room who is actually paying attention. <laughs> Mamoru in um, in 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 PGSM is very uh, crotchety and, as Rita said, aware <laughs> of uh, just, he's just, he's very done already with everything that's going on and everybody around him is just kind of dumb, but he loves them anyway for the most part. He does. Yeah. It's true. And also, um, he... Puts on uh, weird clothing, just like Nancy loves to do in many games. Nancy is off to put on a mask and and strange attire. Yeah. Yeah, and do weird things for jewels, you know? All I'm thinking of right now is Phantom of Venice. (laughs) (laughs) This is true. This is true. She uh, does put on... And she's found many jewels, hidden jewels. I mean, Treasure and Royal Tower? It's true. And she thwarts the actual jewel thief, mm-hmm. much like Mamadou. Yep. Dang. I'm just saying. I think uh, I think Mamadou is the worst. Uh, Who friend is Tuxedo jewel Mask? Thief <laughs> Who's Tuxedo Mask? Nancy Drew. Knew it. <laughs> but yeah, that's Nancy. Yes. In my opinion. Absolutely. Whereas Ned. <laughs> Ned is 90s anime, Mamadou. <laughs> he's useless. He's just there. Uh, and yeah. he's there to make sure that the main character is seen as heterosexual. Yeah, cannot, you know, have that. <sighs> Sorry. I, I, I was re-listening to our pod- our podcast episodes. Um, and, I, and I came across the one where we were talking about... Um, the movie that Kim was coming up and we were excited that oh. we didn't see any Ned because we were like, why do they have to throw in just a boyfriend just to have a boyfriend in it? And that's really a good portion of, of why 90s anime Mamoru is hanging around. <laughs> yeah. And so that you can have uh, Usagi and Rei uh, fight over a boy. Uh, as yes. if, As if... Ray Aquino was interested in men. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> like, we believe that. Yeah, she's totally interested in anyone sexually. <laughs> um, <laughs> she specifically in the manga says that she gave up that. She just doesn't yeah. experience that. And it's like, 
And then in PGSM, she's like, I don't feel like that towards men. Yeah. And it's like, fair enough. All right, girl. <laughs> so. But we digress. <laughs> we, <laughs> that's going to be the entire episode. <laughs> it'll, but yeah. It'll be the Sailor Clue crew in parentheses, but we digress. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um. <laughs> also, other ways that Ned is just 90s anime Mamadou uh, is that he shows up, yeah, just, uh, says something useless, and then leaves. Yeah, pretty much. My job here is done. <laughs> but you didn't do anything. <laughs> he threw right, a that? couple of roses. It was fine. Took Deirdre out on a date. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yes, that's Ned. Yes. Um, George is the most direct comparison. George is Ami in every iteration. Yeah. She's smart, she's pragmatic, and she's asexual. Yeah. There you go. There we go. And we're moving on. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Bess was hard, though. We had a moment we were like, is she Usagi? Yes. Maybe, maybe a little Usagi. A little Usagi, a little, a little, uh, a little Minako, a little, you know. There's, yeah, there's... it's just like, she's not quite either of those because there's a certain amount of like, <sighs> to be Usagi, you have to really have like leadership qualities but accidentally <laughs> and Bess just doesn't have that mm -mm. so i was thinking maybe she was like chibiusa but ariana brought up a fantastic point in pretty guardian sailor moon <laughs> we get the best iteration of luna the cat because for some reason um <laughs> they decide to give luna a Sailor Senshi form in which she is a little girl dubbed Sailor Luna. Fantastic. She is the cutest fucking thing you will ever see and is constantly doing weird little cat things. And they got the <laughs> cutest fucking little girl to play her. It's true. It's amazing. She's adorable. Oh, and she just loves food and games. She does. Yeah. She's constantly and being lazy. Eating, stealing food from people. <laughs> And just being really and then, silly. And then berating And being them. supportive. Yes. And being very supportive of the yes. main character. Yes. I love... Because the thing is, is that they were like, okay, we're only covering the first arc of Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. So there is no Chibiusa, right? But we kind of need that kind of feel to it. So you know what we should do? <laughs> make, make Luna the cat. Into a little girl. We'll give Luna the ability to turn into a little child for some fucking. And when she sneezes, with ears. she turns back into a cat. Yes. Yeah. She, she, as a little girl, she has ears and a tail. Yep. Foop, foop, foop. Every time she yep. she moves her little tail, it goes foop, foop, foop. Yep. But yes, so that is who Bess is. Yes. And if, yes. if you haven't already. Just Google Sailor Luna, PGSM Sailor Luna, and you are welcome. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just gonna say you really need to watch PGSM. That too. It's, it is. It is an experience. It is a cultural experience. It ju it really is. And it is, in my opinion, the best version of Sailor Moon. It really is. It, it's it's it is. fantastic. And despite being... Very low quality kids show. It it is honestly. There are a lot of times where we cry. There are oh, a lot yeah, of times no. where we are fucking sobbing. Definitely. <laughs> I I <laughs> recently rewatched it and I knew exactly. I was like, Andrew, go get me the box of tissues <laughs> before the episode even started. I was like, I know what episode this is. And in one of them, the thing is, is that as the episode starts, I already start crying. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> but we digress. Bess, Bess is Sailor Luna. Yes, for sure. Bam. Uh, Frank, because yes, we're also doing the Hardy Boys here. Of course. 
Frank is Makoto. Absolutely. So, he uh, Sailor Jupiter. Yeah, Sailor Jupiter. Just in every iteration, because honestly, that is one who is solid character. They don't, like, change her. No, they don't. She's always just a badass with a soft side, just protective of her friends, yeah. and really, that's kind of Frank. Like, yeah. gentle giant type, and... Yeah. It's that kind of, like, no-nonsense person who also has a silly side. A a really cute, soft side. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's Frank Hardy. Absolutely. It is worth noting, Makoto's my favorite, so... Yeah. He's lucky to get that comparison. (laughs) Pretty much. Mako is the the best. Yes. Especially. I'm gonna gonna say this to you guys right now to really get you to want to watch PGSM. She fucking Dex Mamadou. Oh my god, it's so good. She, and then she walks in, she's like, mm, oh yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. One of my favorite moments. Yeah. Uh, the, the, into the casting of PGSM, you guys. You guys, the casting it's, PGSM. <laughs> it's so good. So They're this so is good. the episode where we try to get everyone to watch uh, Bishojo Senshi <laughs> Sailor Moon. Um... As you do. You know. So, while Frank is uh, Makoto, mm-hmm. Joe is Minako. Like, specifically 90s anime Minako, <laughs> right? He is here to party. Sparkling eyes. just Yeah, <gasps> and he's also a smartass, mm-hmm. right? So, I, you know, he's just straight up, straight up he 90s is. anime Minako. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Deirdre, <laughs> who is officially part of the Clue Crew now. Yep. Not even, not just what we're saying. Mm-mm. Ever since Midnight in Salem, she's officially part of the Clue Crew. Yes. She had breakfast with them, so. And that's not even a spoiler. So She had a pancake. Yeah, we fed her a pancake. We fed her a pancake. Um, <laughs> so. But Deirdre, at first I was like, oh, she's Ray. She's Sailor Mars. But No. She's not quite. <laughs> she's actually she's actually Michiru. Uh, so Sailor Neptune, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> she's pretty. She's rich. She's haughty, and she's a lesbian. Yeah. There you go. Wait, just right there. Wait. Hmm. What lesbian? There's no lesbians in Sailor Moon. Uh, right, and her cousin. Oh. Her cousin. Oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, in the chat. We fed her a pancake. She's her girlfriend now. <laughs> that's how it works, right? That's the that's courtship. In, yeah, that's how it works in um in video games. <sighs> oh my gosh. You know? Well, in a dating sim, you give someone enough stuff, yeah. they're your girlfriends. That's why we uh, night the night that I that I met my boyfriend, we went and got pancakes. So it's true. It's true. That's the I, ritual was complete. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bam. Uh but yes, she's also a little a little bit like Ray because she's shouty. Yeah. But um then again, Michiru is shouty in a way, but no, she's more like cold mm-hmm, and say. biting. Mm-hmm. She's not really shouty. She's just very passive aggressive, which fair enough, so is Deirdre. Yeah. So she really really you know? is, yeah. To a point. And then she's just aggressive, aggressive. Yeah. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, <laughs> if you thought Deirdre could play any instrument, what would you think it would be? The flute. Because I was thinking, you know what? The violin. Oh, fits. right. <laughs> I'm Did like, oh. plays the oh. violin. I, I, I forgot she plays the violin. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. It's like a, she's like a world famous violinist. Yeah. Because why not? Dating Haruka, the world famous sports car driver. Yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean. Yeah. Musicians and and sports stars, right? That's how it works. Yeah. They're, they were That's spot the two on. genders. <laughs> the two genders <laughs> are music players and sports stars. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so, Sunny, we are, we always include 
Sunny and Jamila. Yeah, Sunny and Jamila are our honor mer- honorary members of there you go. <laughs> the Clue Crew. Um, although before we say add them, might I just say that Carson is Usagi's dad and that he's never there. So He's never yeah. there. <clears throat> he has a career that we vaguely hear about all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. So. Lawyer, photographer, or <laughs> is he a news? Yeah, he's ca- a journalist I, of some kind. Journalist? Photojournalist. I think yeah, he's a photojournalist, that's it, that's technically. It. Yeah, I think that's what he is. Mm-hmm. Have him bring yeah. me back presents! Exactly. Yeah. Um, but anyway. But sunny. Sunny. <laughs> but we digress. Um, sunny is, in my opinion, uh, the... PGSM version of Motoki. So Motoki, you might be going, who the fuck is that? Motoki, or in the 90s anime, he was Andy. Is that what he was? That's what he called? Yeah, that's what he got called. Um, He works at the arcade. In He's Mamanu's friend and works at the uh, arcade in the original manga and all of the anime versions. Mm-hmm. In the... <laughs> In PGSM, <laughs> it's not an arcade. It, it not an arcade. Why did I say it it's like that? that arcade. It's not an arcade. It's a C. It's not. <laughs> it's not an arcade. <laughs> it is a karaoke place, which is beautiful. Oh, you guys, I fantastic. just fucking love it. It's the best headquarters ever. <sighs> it really is. And he, they sing the same the two songs over and over and over again. It's fantastic. In the original, he's kind of, like, suave, and, like, he's, like, Mamadou's hot friend. In PGSM, that is not the case. That is not He is a nerd obsessed with turtles. (laughs) Yes. Yes. With Um, his little turtle named Kamakichi. And he argues with Kamakichi, and he... Gets a girlfriend for Kamakichi. He does. He does get a girlfriend. He makes clothes and things for Kamakichi. I know. Fantastic. He, and a lot of the things like just trade Sunny. Just trade Turtle and out for aliens and you've got <laughs> Exactly. I was about to say they're both like autistic coded. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There we go. Just just precious little little dudes. You just like Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. I love Motoki. Yes. He's so he's so cute. He's he's one of my favorite. I, I I'm gonna say that a lot about the PGSM. Uh, see, PGSM is just fantastic because just everyone gets a backstory. Mm-hmm. Like, everyone has is fully fleshed out. Yeah. Despite the fact that it's only, like, 52 episodes. Yeah. Everyone is fully fleshed out. It's insane. In a way that the manga does not do. The 90s anime really fleshed everyone out in different ways. Yeah. But not in great ways. Mm-mm. Makes Rey a huge bitch. Yeah. Whereas Ray is just Ray's just had to mature too fast in in the in PGSM. Yeah, she's good. She's so she's precious. so good. She's okay. too precious for this world. But we digress. She is. But we digress. <laughs> Jamila is. I went. I was thinking about this, and I thought, I was like, who would they be? And I'm like. Jamila is definitely one of the outer senshi, first of all. Mm -hmm. You know, just slightly removed from everyone. No, no. I'll stay over here. (laughs) I think she's Setsuna. So, I... Setsuna is uh, Sailor Pluto. Sailor Pluto is the one who, you know, lives in eternity. (laughs) Um, She doesn't get reincarnated. (laughs) She just has to stand and guard the door to um, eternity. Um, (laughs) You know... As you do. As you do. And I just feel like that really fits Jamila. Just removed from everyone. Um, and has lots of random knowledge. And just doesn't quite understand how to interact with the main cast. Has has <clears throat> has been tasked with this, uh, this uh, ancient purpose. Because Jamila is a first daughter or whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah. I dig it. Pretty much. I think. <laughs> but yeah, so that's Jamila. Definitely. Now, Ariana's next one requires some um, <laughs> explanation. 
in the way that so if you know Sailor Moon from just the anime, um, the <laughs> go ahead, sister. The the four main bad guys that Beryl has in the first arc, right? We know in uh, the the manga and stuff, and in um, Crystal, they call them the Shitano, the four generals. Um, in the manga, they have specific like one is general of North America, one is general of Asia. It's like a whole thing, right? Yeah, that they're the four generals of Earth, basically. <laughs> um, and there's the Shitano in PGSM, however. <laughs> They are literally rocks that Beryl has brought to life. They, basically, they're um, they're uh, crystal gems. They, yeah, they do. They get poofed. And then she, it's 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 insane. And they're they are like brainwashed to Beryl mm-hmm. because they were actually uh. Part Mamadou's, of Mamadou's yeah. uh, sidekicks who were part or, part of Mion, the technically in the Mion. yeah. So which was his past life? If woof, you know. Oh man, we don't <laughs> have an Endymion or or uh, uh, Princess Serenity on here. It's true, but <sighs> they just don't they don't work. It's very awkward. But anyway, the Shitano. Um <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the Shitano are just very different in PGSM, and they have much stronger... Uh, we are losing follower, uh, viewers. We are just hemorrhaging <laughs> viewers the longer we talk about Sailor Moon. Um, <laughs> so, in PGSM, the Shitano have, like... M- they have a lot of personality. <laughs> I'll put that out there. So, Ariana. But anyway, there's this one... Uh, Named Zoocyte, who yes, um, if you've seen the anime Zoocyte uh, in the '90s, was actually voiced by a woman because they no, yeah, turned Zoocyte into a woman because Zoocyte is gay as fuck. Zoocyte and Kunsite, Kunsite. Okay, that's what I thought, but I was like, wait, is that right? Uh, yeah, Zoocyte and Kunsite are are gay as fuck. Uh, I love them, and that's <laughs> I kind of I kind of attributed that a little bit to this as well. Kate is Zoocyte. Um, because he can only talk to people while playing the piano. Um, such a fucking rebel. Uh, <laughs> and, um, I was, I was gonna say also secretly gay as fuck. But, um. It's true, though. You know. Kate Drew is, you know what? Bisexual. Yes. Kate Drew was bisexual. But Moira was definitely a lesbian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But yes, so what about Hannah? We didn't come up one with one for Hannah. Hannah is Artemis the cat. Yes, thank you. Yes, because uh, always there to look out for them and just kind of like generally more sage. Yeah. Than than uh, the others, you know. Yeah. Definitely, I agree. <laughs> um. Honorable mentions are, um, like, I was trying to figure out who Naru would be. Uh, Naru is one of uh, Usagi's friends. It's, in the, it's like the first episode of the anime mm-hmm. where Naru has a mom who has a jewelry store mm-hmm. that gets taken over by the, um, uh, what are they called in the anime? Not Yoma. The monsters. The monsters take control. Yeah. Uh, so that's Naru. She sticks with uh, Usagi throughout the entirety of the series. Yeah. She's just her best friend who is not part of the uh, Sailor Sailor Senshi. And by the way, also played by an absolutely adorable uh, girl in the anime, or the PGSM. The, so. <clears throat> yeah. She's so cute. She's so She's cute. adorable. And she just looks wounded so often i'm just like oh no little baby yeah yeah so i was trying to figure it out but i couldn't come up with anything i can't think of anyone who she is so you know (sighs) okay okay i choose i was trying to think of, of somebody like uh like either uh emily in um um 
Secret of the Old Clock or uh, or um, Maya Wynn uh, in um, uh, yes, that's final exactly scene. it's it's Maya. She, she's she's that friend who, despite not being in the middle of it, you know, there's yeah. still like a, a a moment when she has to save her. Yeah, or Kyler, or Kyler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So any of those like people who've who've brought Nancy into a case um, because they were yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's who we think mm-hmm. uh, the Clue Crew would be in Sailor Moon. If you guys <laughs> think we are wrong, uh, I... I mean, this was all very opinionated, so, like... Honestly, and if... Yeah, we all have different views of who everyone is in... in at, because it really but depends rather, on... Okay, rather, if which, you have any constructive, like, add-ons to this, you know, go for it. Yeah, mostly it's just like everyone has a different Sailor Moon iteration that they like the best. So I feel like that really colors it, you know. But please feel free to tell us on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, or our fancy website, curlmeistersisters.knifefightclub.com. You can also find us on um, Google Podcast and Apple Podcast and Spotify. And you can leave us reviews and, and, and let people know. That they should watch us. Or listen to us, rather. Either one. I mean, they could watch you us. You can do both. Be sure to come watch us on Twitch, you know. Yeah. Um, you could support us on Twitch Ooh. to get access to our cute little wine glass emote, as well as podcast night VODs. Or you could support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash sisters to get access to stream cat there you go pictures and a video i recently put up a stream cat video which is <laughs> adorable yeah uh as well as um podcast night vods and um, the other thing we do and if you pay us enough money you can tell us what to talk about just like today today's episode which someone told us to talk about yeah so <laughs> as a reminder i'm risa i'm ariana and we're the Crowmeister Sisters, and we're asking you guys to stay sleuthy. Mm-hmm.